Hello, Georgie Burns back again. Today I'd like to show how I made this card. I made this card using lots of bits and pieces. A butterfly from um, the Butterfly Brilliance dies. And I can't find it. There it is. Or oh, there it was. So I've got the largest butterfly from the Butterfly Brilliance. I'm using the stamp set Celebrate with Flowers. And I'm using this long leaf here, or leaves, and the dragonfly. For the background, I'm using Quiet Meadow. And I'm using the script and the dots. And I'm also using a stencil this one from can you see that yeah no Let's try it on white there that one and that's from the plenty of pattern stencils what else am I using Oh, and some DSP, which I'll get to in a minute. So, for the cards, I have got a card base of 8 and a quarter by 5 and 7 eighths, scored at 4 and 1 eighth, folded in half, piece of basic white at 5 and 5 eighths and by 3 and 7 eighths for the inside. Might as well glue that in because I'm not stamping on it. As you all know, I always put a piece of card in the inside to stable it out a bit more because the weight's all on the front. If you put a bit more weight on the back, it won't fall over as much. I have a black, basic black piece of card at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. And I have a piece of basic white at 5 and a half by 3 and 3 quarters. Just so I've got a nice little black border along oh, there. I have a piece of DSP. This is from the Hostess Designer Series paper at the back of the catalogue called Plenty of Patterns. No, that's what the... Oh, I just mentioned it earlier on on another video. It is called pattern party so I've got a piece of that and I've also got some scrap white and black for the sentiment I have a white square at two and a quarter by two and a quarter and a black square at two and three eighths by two and three eighths and that is what the butterfly will rest on this looks like this, a lot smaller than what that does, but it's the same size. So to get started we need the butterfly and we need the white thing. Also that to stamp our sentiment on. Right, let's get a scrap of white. On this, we're going to do our background. So I've got a brush and some crumb cake. And all we're going to do is cover this card in some crumb cake. Let's cover it all in crumb cake. 
doesn't need to be smooth because it is going to be covered. I think that will do for that. Right, we'll bring our script in. And we've got to see if we've got this the right way. Nope. Bring our script in. And we're just going to stamp all over some of it, half of it, all of it. like that. That's all we're going to do. I'm going to put a little bit there. And then we'll bring our mask in. And we're just going to mask in between. So like this big space, just have a bit in there. Like that. And just in between the where there's no script and at the bottom here and a little bit here And that is all I did there. Don't need that no more. And then I got the splatter dots from Quiet Meadow. Don't know if I said that one. And just covered it in dots like that. I think that was it. That is our background done. So get rid of that. We don't need that. Put that to one side. Now we'll bring our butterfly in. And with some daubers. Let's see what we got. Pink. And that was purple. Pink and blue and purple there we are so I'm also going to do this a little bit different now on this one my purple got hardly anything so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask off there and With my blushing bride, I'm going to cover this. This isn't how I did it last time. What I did last time was got a template. I cut out the die for this uh, on a piece of paper and then put it on. But that left a white line around it and I didn't want that this time. So I decided to do it this way. Right, I'll keep that out because we've got to blend them in. And now... Some purple and this is Highland Heather working our way along that line to blend it in which you will do. And 
and then we'll go with our balmy blue and blend that in as well I think I can do that if not I'll have to do it with the purple Highland Heather I keep saying colours instead of their names Don't want to come out. That's it. And there's our butterfly um, coloured in. rid of all these and now with our memento black and our leaf one from celebrate with flowers we're just going to ink up and we're going to stamp this across this way like that So we've got a nice flower on it and we're also going to put one in there like that and then with the dragonfly nice little tiny dragonfly we're going to put one in there like that and we're also going to put one up there I'll put that up the right way this time. And that's our butterfly down. Right. Next we want to stamp our sentiment. What did I do with that? Right in front of me. Thinking of you. Get my versifying. Just pop that down there. Let that dry for a minute or two. I don't want to. Right, what I forgot we need to brush. I might as well do it on here. This off, I don't want it as white. So I'm just using what's on the brush just to take the whiteness off. There we are. And we'll glue that on there. Is that still too white? No. Right, that's that glued on. Now we need to put, oh, I do need that again. I want to take the whiteness out of this. So, what I've done is just go over it with crumb cake, just to take the whiteness out like we did the um, square.
There we are. Not done that as dark as the other one. And that we're going to put like that there. And we should trim it off once we've stuck it down. sure it's straight. And trim it off the ends. And then we'll glue this on the black. glue this on our card. Now, now I think I will glue this on the square and then put the square up on dimensionals. And there off here. Yeah. No, that's not them. So where's my dimensionals? So the edges on there. And place that in the middle. to sort out the sentiment. Now what I did with the sentiment was just cut round it. See the reins back? Why is it always easier off camera than it is when you're on camera? And what I did, I 
and stuck this on some black card and cut around that. Leaving a little border so that you can see. And that will sit up there. Uh, with a piece of dimensional. I think I might only need down to glue that. And now we just need to add some gems. Now I have got some big black gems. Well I think they're big. And they come on strips. So all I did was cut three off. Put three down there. Three up here, and I need three for the body. Right, was it three? Yeah. And that is our card for today. I prefer the butterfly like that than like that. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you can uh, be notified of any more any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.